hello and welcome to this video now um, in this video I'm going to teach you how to create a Jumia store from scratch from start to finish all right so by the end of this video you should be able to create your own Jumia store and you see how easy it is because Jumia have simplified the whole process unlike before where you have to fill and um, go through um, their questionnaire to fill in some questions and quiz and all sorts of things now the, the whole process is very easy that's why this video is a new video all right so First thing to do is either you click here to sell on Jumia or you copy this link, this link right here, let me get the link, or you copy this link, https slashjumia.com.ng slash user, very very long right? So you can either copy this link and paste in your browser or you head over to jumia.com.ng and click on sell, uh, sell on Jumia, alright? So where we are heading to is this page, but I want to show you how to get to this page. So go to jumia.com.ng, click on sell on Jumia. Now you land on this page where Jumia will say make money to sell to over 200 million customers. 200 million customers. Now I will advise you to read everything on this page. If you want to be a seller on Jumia, please read everything on this page. You can go ahead and create your store, but please come back and read everything on this page so that you understand the platform you are working with. So when you're done reading everything, just click on start selling on Jumia. Now we head now we we are, we are on this page like I said, all right? This same link, just close this pop up. Now we're going to fill these details everything here and I'm going to explain or show you how to do that now. I just I've 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 written everything down, so I'm just going to write it down. So I'm creating a new account right here on Jumia. I'm doing this for a client or a friend rather. So first name, phone number, Then you have your shop name. Then you referred by. Then you have to put in my email and say that you are referred by me. With this, if I get a notification from Jumia that you have um, that you put in my email, I can SCN, I can SCN29 at Outlook.com. If I have a message from Jumia that I, that you put in my email. I'm going to give you more support on your Jumia store, how to get more sales and other free tips I'm going to share with you on this Jumia platform. How to sell off your product, how to succeed on Jumia and even outside Jumia. All right, I'm going to assist you once I get a notification that you, you, you use my email as somebody that referred you to Jumia. Okay, so once you add that there, the next thing to do is to put down your email address. So just put down this email address right here. Then... Um, password i'm going to put in the password right now for the password i'm just going to retype our email here I'm just copy this and paste that there so now the password i'm just going to put in the password right here and then retype also retype the password here so that we can continue with the registration so i've typed my password here or the password belongs that belongs to my um to my client now remember the password must be at least eight characters containing a capital letter a lower letter and a numeric number all right so once you're done with that, you can just click um, I have accepted Jumia e, Jumia e contract Nigeria, whatever. So you just click on that and you click on continue. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the store name is already in use, shop name already in use, email already in use. So maybe the clients have uh, an account already with this email. So I'm just gonna call the client and we get this changed as soon as possible okay so i called my clients and we have that change now we are having nadi store and we change the email i'm just going to paste the password all right so i've click on i have read and accepted the e-contract Jimmy nigeria if you can want to read you can just simply read this open this on a on a new tab and read so once i'm done with this i just click continue Okay, so account information was updated. Now we have successfully created a new account on Jumia. All right, this is this is how easy it is. Now the next thing that you are required to do is to put in your um business address. Now this can be your personal home address. If you have an office, it can also be your your your, your office address. So I'm just going to pause this video and fill this up and come back. So basically, what you're going to fill here. All right, adjust the compulsory, uh, the compulsory list or what, what is asterisk, like this one asterisk, this one not asterisk, you don't have to fill it, this one not asterisk, you don't have to fill it. 
So just fill what is asterisk, which is the address, obviously, and uh, you click continue. Okay, now Jimmy is asking you for your bank account details. You have to put in your bank name, all right? Account, account, bank, the bank you're using, account name and account number, then you click continue. So I'm going to fill this and come back. Okay, so we have that um, filled up bank name this and this then you click on continue you can skip this step but i would like you to do that because if you don't put your your details jimia will not approve your store now boom an account has been created so easy less than five minutes you can create an account on jimia all right so you can see your seller id which cannot be changed your name everything here cannot be changed you referred by sn i can sn29 at outlook.com very very important now let's see other details we feel yes correct bank account details now correct now start selling click on start selling you can see very very easy <coughs> thank you for signing up with us an email has been sent to your email account please click on the link provided to verify your email now you have to click on the email that has been sent to your email address to verify your junior account all right so let's just log into our email right now so that should be yahoo mail Let's sign in to the account. Okay, so I've logged into the email. So let's just click on the email that Jimmy has sent, which is this. Verify your email address and finish registration. Let's just click on it. Now we scroll down. Hello, welcome to Jimmy Nigeria. Your seller center account has been created. So you can click on this link to verify your email account. Let's just click on that link. Boom, your account have been created. Now they are, you're asked to log into your account. All right, so I'll just copy that or just log into the account right now. We should be peter.son78 at gmail or yahoo mail at yahoo.com. And the password should be this. So once you put in your login details, you have a Jimmy account. Less than five minutes, my friend. Less than five minutes, you have a Jimmy account. Now I have a video where I will teach you how to um, how to add product to your store. It's very simple. Just click here and click on add a product. Now there are two ways of adding product to Jimmy store, and I I teach about I, I I talk about it in the next video you're going to watch. I'm sharing with you. You can just come here and search for the product you want to add. Let's say you want to add um sneakers let's say your the, the product you are selling is already on jumia okay so you come over here and start search for sneakers and look at the, the the products here if you find a product that you have and you want to sell that is already here you just simply click on the product let's say for example this product i have this product in my store and just to say just to tell you sneakers sells a lot in, on jumia so this is just a tip you have the sneakers or you want to go into sneakers business it sells a lot now let's say i have this product i want to sell i'll just simply click on it I have this same product I want to sell, exact product. I will just click on. Now, after I view the details and I see that this guy, uh, this guy put in um, good descriptions and uh, I want to use his details, I'll just go and click on sell my, look for it. This is it, sell yours here. Click on it, sell yours. It's going to redirect you back to your seller account. And if you are logged in, you don't have to log in again. Since you are logged in here, it's just going to take us back to our seller account. You can see. Now this store, all right. We're just gonna click on. Let's just move this, move this now. Move this. So, first of all, you just click on the product information. If this is the name of the product you want to sell, fine. If it's not, you just change it, all right. But everything has been prefilled from the net from the former seller. So the category has already been prefilled: fashion, men's fashion, shoes, fashion sneakers, all right. So just take your time and go through this. I will show you how to come over to this. Um, category section but next just click on next which will take you to the product and uh, more product details now this is where you put the product color if it's brown or black you can just choose the color there now what type of what type of material do you have is it leather is it synthetic just put it there main material is it canvas you just put your material there basically you fill up these details what type of here is it flat you go to product description this is where you fill in your product description what's why should they buy from you all right what kind of product what kind of product is this so that's where you fill it up if you have a youtube account where you have a video about your product which you can have and just put the link here 
now highlight you can just do it like this now i want you to use this video this product i'm showing you as a guide if you want to uh, add a product to your store because i might not talk about this in the next video so the next one is measurements you need to include your measurement like this if you have different measurements and dimensions or different dimensions the weight width you can just include there the weight of the product of each product so you just put 0 0.0, 0 0.8 or something now the attributes is it for male female boys children teen you do that product warranty not available if you have you can put it down there gmail local just leave it as it is text leave this blank as then you go to enter product details now this product details, this is where you're going to fill up the variations so what i would do in this first one i would just what i normally write on my sku is that i, I like to write the name of my store and just put a figure there like nadi 01 and i'll just put that in and say nadi 02 so we have five sizes here now any size you don't have you can just simply delete I simply delete it here you can see this delete button right here you can delete the size you don't have so now the quantity just leave this blank and leave this blank the quantity how many pieces of 40 um size 40 do you have let's say i have 30 pieces of size 40. the price i can say okay the price is 4550 but right now i'm selling for uh let's say some discount and i'm selling for three thousand or let's say three thousand 850 all right so i'm running a discount and say 3850 okay so the start dates your sale when, when is it starting like you're running a discount right a sale price so it's starting today and it's going to end let's say in a month's time and i'll say july 11th right so it's starting today and it's ending in a month time but if this is your real price and you want to run this price for a very long time you can just extend this to whichever year or month you want okay so i'll just leave this as uh, july like a month time so i'm running this sale for 30 days okay no no no, don't delete that's a mistake so same thing i would do with uh, size 41 i would just say the same thing just copy this price here paste it here and um if the size 41 the same price i'll just do the same thing 11 to 11 of july okay so the same thing i would do here so now let's say size 42 has a bigger um bigger size let's say i just put the price there and i not put sale I'm starting now and i'm ending it at uh, let's say july 31st okay so i'll go back to the next one and this is the same thing that means this price size 42 43 44 they are 4550 no reduction okay so i'm not putting any sale sale means as you know you're running a sale now you sell stuff so you can run discount discount so the same thing here i'm not running i'm running i'm not running a sale and i'm selling it to july 31st same thing here size the biggest size i'm not running a sale i'm starting today and i'm ending it in, in july 31st so once you're done with that you can see you can add more product more, more product variation if you want let's say you have size 44 45 46 you can just add them here i'm just showing you a sample on how to add product let's say you are into the fashion or fashion niche no, no. so let's just click uh, upload images now you, what you do you upload the images of your product make sure the images is uh the images are at least 500 by 500 pixel all right so let's say we go over to google and search for sneakers I want to show you what they mean by 500 by 500 pixel now let's go over to uh, let's go to images let's say i want to search for sneakers well this might not be your case i just want to show you how to do this on you on google in case you're selling a product where the images are here so i just click on size exact size 500 by 500 all right so i click go now every image you are seeing here the size is 500 by 500 all right so you can download any of this image and use it on your seller account you can just simply add browse and you upload from your store and uh, boom you have it there all right so you can see your content uh, score jimmy I introduced this, this thing newly now description you need to have you need to add more words to make this hundred the higher this is the higher your chance of ranking your product some people neglect this but i'm telling you now don't neglect it percentage of bold words in your description you should have between one to fifteen percent. So that means your key point. You need to bold them. You need to bolden the, those words. All right. 
aside that every other thing we are good we are good to go but you can see you can try to make this around 100 or 98 or 85 okay so once you are done with this and you added your product but if this are your product you have the same product and you are happy with this uh, with the images you are seeing here just click on submit and finish your product has been successfully created and will receive and will review between 48 hours trust me it's not going to read 48 hours but it's going to be reviewed all right so you can see it's our new store you can see i don't have any product here now everything is going to be reviewed we click here it's going to tell you product status quality quality not approved yet that they're going to check the quality of the product not yet a product to shop that means jimmy is yet to approve it so once they approve it it's going to show um mac like it's going to show good like this like something like this that been approved and your product to be on and to appear on jimmy just like so so just look over to the next video where i show you how to add product to your store that's a that's a video dedicated for this topic but i just want to show you this quickly because i think i have some people that message me and say they sell sneakers and on that video i didn't teach how to upload a product like sneakers all right so just thank you for watching and don't forget to um share this um share my number to people to if you want to learn how to open their store on jimmy now if you want me to do this for you you can just contact me on this number my name is scn all right can you more on my number i can do this for you for a little fee i can add create your store for you add products in your store and you just start selling all right so what this, this are what i need basically although you add your account your account details i'll need your account details yeah on your account details and uh, just give me the details and boom now don't forget to, once you are using your store don't forget to put in my email as a referral all right you are referred by akan scn so that you can get more support i can attend to you whenever you have any questions because there's so many things you will need to know about jumia all right so thank you for watching